you've had an eventful month <laughs> since we've been on the show last. Um, I think you had just retired the old bear costume. Yep, but right? everybody thought I was quitting the business. Everybody thought Beast Man was done with the business. He's heading out and he's going to become a, a, a promoter, apparently. A swerve, bro. Swerve, bro. It was a swerve. But what happened, and this is going to be the first time some people here on the show are going to see this. I, I, I hope, I, I, I'm looking forward to the reactions here. Uh, this will pop up in a second. This is from Warrior Wrestling in South Bend, Indiana. You're going to see uh, this was the debut, first time the public laid eyes. There's Mil Marte is just hanging out in the ring waiting for Beastman to make his fucking entrance. And there he oh, fucking oh is. My Look God. at Whoa. this. Oh boy! <laughs> Look at this. This is if you're on audio, there are Dude. tusks. There is like a full like tusk skull helmet situation. There is fur. The bone is still there. You, you look, look like, like a darkest timeline. Blood Pokemon. there too. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also check out that crowd. That is an esports arena in South Bend. <laughs> that is a ridiculous venue. That was so much fun to to film things with. The, the crowd looked awesome behind everybody. There he is. Um, you, tr you still tried to eat your bone through the mask, though? And there he is facing off with Mo Martez. Do you like, do you like slip that on just when it's cold, like around the house? Sure. Is that, yeah, is that your, your, your nightwear? Yep. Is that, so tell me, how did you, uh, how did you get to this concept here uh, for, for this? And then there's the reveal. Damn, I'm fat. I got to look white. <laughs> this is the first. This is the first time you've seen this footage. Yep. I know since the show happened. So, and there's oh god, Mil Marte. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still shocked that this is a match that we did. Um, but uh, but no, awesome stuff with Warrior Wrestling. That's over on Fight TV, and uh, it'll be on other VOD uh, stuff in the coming weeks as well. So go go check that out. An incredible, incredible show. Uh, uh, Beastman, tell tell me about that gear. Where the hell did that concept come from? A <sighs> long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, back in... Uh, back in the Stone Age. Back in the Stone Age. Yes. So, needed an upgrade. I've had the bear head, the bear man, for about three years, and I feel like... It, it felt like I I took it as far as I could go. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like my I plateaued after the whole MLW thing, and I didn't feel like I could get any higher than I needed to. But before that, like this is about uh, last March, so about 11 months ago, uh, me and uh, Sam, my boy, Sam Adonis, mm -hmm. uh, who's at the hockey game right now, he, uh, we were, he's like, you need something that's going to like make the fans pop more. I mean, the bear head's cool, but you need something that's going to like get you to that next level. Like another holy shit kind of thing, right? Yep. Okay. So, what on the Indies hasn't, like, so I'm, like, watching stuff from over the years. What is something that is one of the coolest things that anybody has ever had for an entrance? Hmm. The Vader headdress. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody has, nobody has, like, done anything like that since him. So, the concept of what I have came from the Vader headdress. I, I can see that now, so, yeah. So I wanted to do like so, but kind of like touching up like more of my style. So the mastodon head with the horns coming out, uh, the wolves, the coyotes on the side, the funky bone structure with the other bones on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you do a side by side comparison, look at that reaction. That guy next. I don't know. Maybe he's just yelling at you. I don't know. But I don't know. But I'm getting a standing ovation. Mm hmm. So I think, I think he's just checking your shit out, but yeah, I, I can see the Vader influences with that for sure. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's almost like it it's like if Vader killed and skinned Mantar and then wore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So this was yeah this was uh it was it took nine months to make William Rockwell out of uh, St. Louis who makes uh basically everybody in WWE's mask interest mask he made that. Mm -hmm. Uh. Had to get you know, had to take out a little small loan, but to get it done, but it was worth getting done. And uh, as you can see, the reaction, the action is what it needed to be. So mm -hmm. I was very happy, very happy to get it done too. So I mean, I think it. You were in a match against Mil Martes, and and I, you know, I, I, you may have had a bigger pop than him on that show. 
Um, well, of course you know, <laughs> yeah, of course the <laughs> fucking beast man. <laughs> with that but uh no that was great and i know the reactions uh uh, off of social media uh because that was a live pay-per-view um like were were pretty incredible as well except for Meltzer. Meltzer hated it Meltzer hated it what no Meltzer uh, said for bam on on this podcast we don't talk about Meltzer. well good dave 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 says lots of things that's right that's right so the way what did he say i'm curious let me quote for bam here so apparently dave Meltzer. uh, let me uh I'm sending invites out to the Victory Championship Wrestling page. So okay. <laughs> and by the way, please sign up Victory <laughs> Championship Wrestling. Buy your tickets if yep. you can make it down there on the 20th. February 20th is the debut show. Uh, uh, if you can't make it down there, there will be it will be on digital platforms here with Indie Wrestling US. But please buy tickets. See experience history in person if you can. Yes. Yes. I need money. So... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta work on your pitch work I, I, I got a house i gotta pay for in a wedding is this why up, you so. husk all the time yes that's why i husk, <laughs> husk every day he's i owe money husk e- i got a wedding to pay for every day he's huskling yep mm-hmm. so verbatim from dave Meltzer, mil muertes beat beastman and what was called a bad match but the crowd was great for the show so it still was entertaining there you go. Did, did they give you a star rating? No star. No stars? Wow. No star rating. Just no rating. No, yeah. no, no rating. I mean, not not a no star match, but there's just no rating. Yeah. He was there for Osprey and Cage because I think he got it. Was that a five star match, I believe? Four and a half. Four and a half stars? Mm-hmm. Wow. And uh, Warrior has been sharing that a lot lately. So. It would have been, been five in the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, it took yeah. Him five stars. <laughs> it would have been six if Kenny Omega was guest timekeeper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there, I mean, that was, a, that was an incredible debut there. Um, you're gearing up. You got victory championship wrestling. Mm-hmm. You have matches now. Yeah. What are you doing there? Is a, the, the, the beast man will be there. Beast man will be there. He's, he's scheduled to appear. So. Scheduled to appear. Okay. That's all I got right now. I, okay. Look, I'm just promoting a show yes. that I'm trying to get. Don't get forget to book yourself. I do that. <laughs> Book, I might as well, hey, hey guys, I might as well book myself as a fucking champ. Get out of the way now. There you go. There you Y'all go. Y'all are screwed. Sorry, Tanner. So. <laughs> sorry, Palace. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, Remy. Sorry, I'm, Remy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a champ. I'm going to win all the belts. First show. There you go. I'm going to have every title on the line. I'm just going to make up shit. And uh, I'm gonna win them all. Uh, tag, World, and Cruiserweight, right? Yep. And uh, t- <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, intergender. Uh, Galaxy title, okay. Uh, okay. Walmart championship, Butterfinger title. I've already, I've already beat Victor Benjamin for he doesn't know about yet. It's okay. already booked schedule one. So you're peanut butter champion. Okay. I am the peanut butter champion. I Stay away from Dabrowski. I booked. <laughs> I, I booked Dabrowski. He's gonna he. I put. I beat him too. So you beat him too. I don't know. <laughs> I'll beat you at the mic. So, beat you at the mic, Dabrowski. But you will not beat him in a rap battle. No. No. I, was, I don't know. I think I can beat the Browski. Right oh, now. whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> because cause have you heard him uh, uh, throw down on the run DMC DX theme? Okay. Have you heard me sing Biggie Smalls? I have not. Well, then there you go. Uh, okay. Does this, inco- does this involve a few beers first? No. Okay. Um, Is this something we can do on the fly? We can. We can do. Like, what do you want? What do we need here? It was all a what, dream. What do I, I got to put in your... Word Up magazine? I'm going to risk this. Heavy D up in the limousine. Whoa. Hey, get pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Remember rapid Duke? The ha, the ha. You never thought the hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight because I ride tight. Time to get paid. Blow up like the world trade. Board Sitta, the opposite of a winner. Remember when I used to eat sardines for dinner? Piece of raw D, pussy pre, can't capri. Fuck master flex, love buck star ski. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Call the crib, same number, same hood. It's all good. And if, if you don't, don't know, know, now you know now it's you 2022. Know. Peace, man. <laughs> so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so. uh, LB, as a uh, former active uh, rapper, how do you rate that? Uh, uh, five, ten, uh, five, 10 out of five stars. On a, scale, on a scale of one to 10, that was fucking great. Beast man's, Beast man's got the flow. There you go. Fuck Meltzer. That's your rating. Right. <laughs> there you go. So, does he know who uh, who I'm getting married to? 
Uh, Does he know who my future brother-in-law is? I don't know. Does LB LB know? I don't know. The Beast Man story? I don't know that I played him. You know, you you remember our 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 uh, Jeff, our our crap mate, right? Your what? You you yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Well, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be Beast Man's brother-in-law. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) So so Sorg, uh, since you brought up crap, we're having a live performance of crap, right? No, not today. No, not today. Live performance. We we, we were able to do that today. Live performance. Maybe maybe for eight fifty. I just want to see a monkey start flipping poo. All right. (laughs) Flipping poo. Sorgy. Did you even listen to the lyrics? Flinging poo. Come on, flipping poo. Hey, what you gonna do? Okay. And I don't know if you noticed, some of those clips had the backing tracks from the crap album in it, because that's, that's what we used for a lot of stuff mm-hmm. back then. So in royalty co- free, royalty free. Well, <laughs> I don't know about Creative that. Creative common zero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was called cross promotion uh, at the time. So, <laughs> but uh, no, but so uh, we've learned a lot, and damn it, we're clipping that out later. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, so Victor Championship Wrestling, can we talk, can we talk about what, like, so, so, like, the, the show is happening, but there is going, there's a media plan happening here, too. Do, can, we, can we talk about that, that idea that's coming up here with Victory Championship Wrestling? It's not just a wrestling show. Oh, a second here. Oh, no, what, what are you doing? What's going on? Are you, are you trying to throw the music on? You're trying to, oh, no. There it is. His his new favorite song. It's like the only song you like on the album too, isn't it? Three songs I like. The beginning, this one, and the end when it's over. <laughs> also, I, I'd like to point out a friend of the show just got suplexed by a Steiner on NXT in the main event. Uh, who? Shima? Bear. Yeah, walking wild. What happened? He got He's... suplexed by Braun Breaker. Oh, cool. I guess I don't know. I mean, hey, I'm just glad he's still there and employed it? and doing something like Who that. Who was it? Uh, what? Uh, Shima. Walking Wild? Oh, Sh- Shima. Shima. Hell yeah. Shima. Yeah. yeah. I have to say both <laughs> names because we know Shima. The world knows Walking Wild. Yeah. Some and, people know and, DJZ. Uh, and a few states know DJZ. A few states. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chicago knows DJZ, I know. Mexico knows DJZ, but... Florida knows DJZ. There you go. There you go. Exactly. So, um, but no, maybe he's, parts of Canada. We're maybe, not sure. No, I yeah, I can't remember if he. I mean, he was pretty internationally traveled. I thought he did Russia one time. Like I think like him and Facade did Russia. Maybe Gory. I can't remember. So that yeah, would have been wild. They got out. So you know. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, Beastman, where can people uh, find out what's going on with uh, Victory Championship Wrestling? No, never will know. Here we go. Okay, sorry. I noticed he's not pulling up my verses. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're. Talk- I'm aware. So, I'm aware. So we were talking about victory championship wrestling. Yes, you said, I have matches. You have matches. I have matches. <laughs> we got some matches finally. Yes, I'm gonna try to pull up the Facebook here. All right. So what we got? What we got? Friends of the show. I know are part of this. Okay. Yeah. So. Which one do you want to talk about? I, I don't know what. Well, just, just give the pitch. <laughs> Why am I coming to this show? You're Why am I coming show. to West Virginia? You're coming to West Virginia uh, because you're going to see old faces and new faces. Oh, look, there's Tanner Rouse. Tanner Rouse is going to be there, everybody. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember him or not. I don't think anybody here remembers him, no. No, but that's a good ass promo, though. So, right there, you got the first match. We got just, we released like not even 20 minutes ago. Tanner Rouse making his return after a three year hiatus. Taking on the newest up and comer, probably one of the best wrestlers in Ohio, Damian Chambers. Okay. So that's going to be a good These match. are people we should look up on YouTube. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You need to look these guys up. Okay. No problem. So there's the first one. This one right here is what I'm excited about. Because the these most. are a lot of new names I'm not aware of. And he said a lot of these guys are coming out of Ohio, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Okay. So this right here, you got Ethan Wright. He's been in business about as long as I have. Trained by, he was in the last trainees at Harley Race's wrestling school Mm -hmm. when Harley Race was alive. Mm -hmm. And then you got Alex Matthews, who's actually a former protege of Ethan Wright. So you kind of got like a teacher versus student match going on there. Okay. Okay. Alex has been, Alex is probably one of the top young guys in the state. And he's looking to branch out. Come to Victory Championship Wrestling, you get your shot. All so. right. Next guy. Next guys I know the Mayhemers are definitely uh, 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 familiar with right here. 
Which one? There you go. Which one? Read oh the boy. graphic. Both of them. Oh. Joey, Both of them. Joey Sinceri versus Christian Noir. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, when you got two young pits, I want to say young with Christian, but when you got an up and coming like Joey Sinceri, mm-hmm. who is the second coming, in my opinion, of Ryan Mitchell. Ooh, right? I'm, whoa, putting that, I'm putting whoa, that out whoa. there. I'm putting that out there. I, I see it. I, I actually okay, see it. Okay, okay. And then you got the, the antics of Christian Noir. Mm-hmm. You got yourself a fire match right there. So I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to that. Two Rise guys going at it. I, I like it. I like it. Excellent. And is that that is the matches so far. Yep. But we got a lot of other people. Andrew Palace is going to be there. Remy LeVay. Uh, 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 Zach Hunter is now Zach Myers. Is Zach that Myers. correct? Yep, Zach so, Myers. Uh, so all of your punching and kicking uh, will be there. And, of course, um, the, um, the Real Shoot Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Zeke Mercer, will be there. Oh, yes? Yes. Nice. These, the Real Shoot Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And, by the way, we did just book young Zeke for the 15th of this month. Nice. So, I might uh, have to come up and hang out. Show. So, <laughs> Week before my show, I got Listen, it. man, Beast Man's just going to roll into the studio whenever the fuck he wants. He already has done it. Damn like right. You've been on, like, four times in the last four months. So, <laughs> guy, keep the cre- guy, keep the people entertained. There you go. You know there you mean? go. There got, you go. <laughs> who else we got there? We got, oh, we got the Rad Boys from Imagine. Yes. The Rad Boys from 2PW. They had a dinosaur last time I saw yes. them. Yes. What the hell? I can't wait. I'm back in production. I'm like, what the hell? I got Doink the Clown over here. I got a dinosaur over here. And then, you know, everybody else, you know? So, I mean, when, when, when the wrestling, when the backstage at wrestling seems weirder than usual, you know, and you weren't even there with your tusks. No, uh, it's husk with an your H. Husk. Why, why your are husk. You no, you have husk. T- you have tusks now. Oh, fuck. in the costume, oh. your tusk, your husk. T- do we call them t- husk, husk tusks? Tusk. Yes, husk, husk, husk tusks. Tusk. Yeah, out there husk with tusk. his husk tusks. It's like saying tatas, but it means something different. So, can I also say and more? And there, more. And more. You got no good Nathan Allridge, a local favorite. Oh my favorite. god! So Nathan <laughs> Allridge is coming back. The man himself. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I don't know why I'm putting him over, but I'm happy he's coming. Patrick Hayes is going to be there. Oh, jeez. Okay, mm. You know it's a good time when Patrick Hayes is around. Wilbur Whitlock, another Ohio native. Mm. Uh, you got uh, another one that a lot of people don't know about. He's a sleeper, but I know he's going to fucking come in. I know he's going to come in. I know he's going to be one of our top guys. Uh, Izzy Lambert from Mansell, Ohio at ASWA. Okay. He's someone you guys need to watch out for okay so i like this This is kind of like this 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 is feeling more and more as you're 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 selling me on these guys i don't know like how i mentioned erie is this like cross-section of those like three like kind of places right mm-hmm. you know just like conquest is a thing where we're getting people from the south people from pittsburgh and other people coming in right yep. uh, uh i feel like i feel like this is potentially you're getting the pittsburgh crowd mixed with the west virginia mixed with the ohio crowd you know kind of all intersecting there in the, pi- in the panhandle best of ohio best of west virginia love it. best of pittsburgh love so, it love it Inter- i know i know there's a lot of pittsburgh there's a lot of great pittsburgh talent out there i'm just trying to build something different that people have not seen Yep. Yep. So and I'm, I have no shame in saying that. So yeah, good for the area. This is the Wheeling area, yep. um, which is uh, uh, steeped with history and wrestling. We're bringing back good wrestling to Wheeling. Um, so. I know there's been uh, 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 the 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 arena there in Wheeling has been host to. Uh, you've probably seen the uh, uh, wrestling in that arena on uh, television between SmackDown yep. and I don't know maybe a Raw or two. Uh, two I think WCW ran there, there back in the two, day. There was two Raws, mm-hmm. lost Superstars tapings. Okay. Uh, there was oh, one yeah. WCW Nitro. There was a Thunder. Hank Hudson would post cards from there. Yep. From like a lot of those tapings. <clears throat> uh, on his on his Facebook. If you don't follow Hank Hudson on on Facebook, he just he just posts these awesome old cards from the relative area, including like all the way down to West Virginia and Pittsburgh area and things like that. Uh, and it's really really cool to see that. And he's probably announced most of those matches too. So, but uh, no, really cool stuff. Victory Championship Wrestling, February twentieth, guys. This is so big. I'm flying in to make sure I make this yes. show. This is gonna um, be a, yes. Like I can't tell you. I can hype so much. Here, I can hype it so much online. I mean, I've been out busting my ass, putting up posters, just getting the word out. And right. I've never put so much, like, I know it's like, I know it's like for people, for promoters to go out there and do their thing. Now mm-hmm. I know what the stress is all about. <laughs> I, 
And what's funny did, is, did, I'm going, did, I'm, has Sam been sharing his his uh, promoter stories? Because yes, I remember it, uh, uh, the 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 two shows I worked with Sam Adonis. It was just him walking around saying, "I'm not fucking doing this again." So yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I'll see you next time." Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna be pace. I'm not gonna be pacing around like he I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting for that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pacing for sure. So and he did at least uh, what four or five shows yep. in the long run before COVID hit. Yep. There was gonna be another one, but I think no, COVID it's got coming soon. It. It is, it's oh, coming soon. Oh wait, so. is he coming back? I'm hearing rumors. Rumors but That's are? all I can say. Uh, but it won't be a Wrestle Rex since there's no Rex, but oh. but I'm interested. I don't I don't give a shit who does it. More more wrestling in Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh is what I want. I don't Period. care who's promoting it. 100%. I don't care about being involved in it. I just want more great wrestling, much like you're doing down in West Virginia. I want something in a Pittsburgh address mm -hmm. happening. Whether it's the parking lot across the street or or wherever else, but uh, no, I would. I'm definitely definitely up for hearing about that. So so so, so did I tell you. That, so another thing is we also got a, a backstage interviewer, who just, who passed the screen test about yes. a month ago. Yes, I think so, you saw, I think you saw some of that when we put a green screen yes. out. Hey, Mad Mike, I got to tell you the story. You're gonna love this. <laughs> so. <laughs> My fiance, the lovely Anna, mm -hmm. Miss Madam Beastman is what I call her. Madam Beastman. She asked me. She asked the me the other day. She's like, "Hey, why is Ronnie just a backstage interviewer, not a manager?" <laughs> I said, "Because he's a liability out in the ring. So he's <laughs> he's a liability when he's out there. When he's back here, where he's safe, he won't get where hurt. He's safe. So. Is, is this to protect the fans or him? Him. Okay. And the fans too. So okay. I'm trying to make mm -hmm. money, so." <laughs> <laughs> and I don't draw a fucking dime. <laughs> and that's on paper and in person. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. Oh, okay. Very oh, that was, that was the story. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was the punchline. There you go. So. I mean, to be fair, Ronnie's probably not a manager anymore because he drove up on the wrong day. Look, look I can tell you, I can count on my hand how many times Ronnie actually. I need about four sets of hands to tell you how many times I've seen Ronnie get hurt in wrestling. So. Oh, no. <laughs> and oh, how many no. times he's retired from wrestling, too. So, Ronnie has yeah. done. Ronnie is, is probably the person that has done the most positions in wrestling. Ronnie's the Terry Funk of Pittsburgh wrestling when it comes to being retired, coming back in, retired, coming he's, back you, in. Ronnie, you've been a manager. You have wrestled. You were a referee. Mm -hmm. You shot video on I, a pay-per-view. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly think he's more Dennis Stamp than. Uh, no, Wes had me cracking up because he's rubbing food on my shirt and in my face as I'm holding the camera, and I'm trying not to motherfuck him, and I'm just busting out laughing. And you hear Roy, and then I can hear Sorg. I get just picture Sorg. You get your fucking ass in there, Ryan. Get that shot, because I'm listening. <laughs> I'm Wait, there. is that you think I call my shit? Yeah, because I'm sitting <laughs> you know, there listening. I'm, I'm, sitting, this shit? I'm sitting there beside you, call, like telling him what to do, Kevin Dunn. <laughs> so, 